Hey, winter campers. I am Claudia Ramirez. I live in Denton, Texas with my husband, Ricardo. Uh, we go to Denton North Church together and I've been living here ever since 2016 where I started at TWU um, and have been in focus ever since and then graduated in 2020 and completely changed gears and decided to pursue a career in midwifery, um, a job that would allow me to assist women in having a birth in the home or birth center setting. And yeah, basically, I was asked to talk about my calling um, as a Christian and how that relates to my job. And I just see so many aspects of how my job relates to my calling. I build relationships with women in vulnerable positions and get to teach them and we get to basically hold hands the whole the whole um, pregnancy journey all the way to the end and um, their birth and postpartum and take care of them and educate them and give them resources and all of their options so that them that they can just make the best health decisions for their family. Um, I think one way that this job specifically helps me live out my calling as a Christian is definitely the relationships that I get to form with them. Um, I remember one mom specifically came in for a 12 week visit and it was her initial visit with us and we got to sit down and talk with her. We always bring up, um, how is this, how did, um, you feel about this pregnancy? Was it a surprise? Was it planned? And she had shared with us that she um, had considered having an abortion and um, was crying and wanted to just share that with us. So we knew that was part of her journey. And we got to go lay down on the bed where we listened to the baby. And I put the Doppler on her belly with the gel and turned it on. And we, within a few seconds, got to hear her baby's heartbeat. And I got to... Um, be a part of that and she cried and I got to cry with her and we built I think the kind of relationship you should have with your medical providers um, we got to see her which was really cool um, we we're also supposed to talk about um, things that could hinder our walk as Christians related to our jobs and I think the big thing, no matter what job you're doing, is really the temptation to put the glory, your glory, identity, your whole being into whatever it is that you can produce or make. And um, in return, I think those things leave us pretty empty. I think when we fail to give God the praise for the work that he's doing in our lives and the works that we're able to do through him. We, whether we're being praised or criticized, whatever, I think we tend to make that our self-worth and that can just leave us pretty, pretty empty. Like that, that, um, satisfaction is only temporary. Um, this verse in Matthew, Matthew 5, 15, Matthew 5, 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. So if I had any advice, um, is to continue to strive to give glory to God in the work that you're doing and not seek that for yourself.